as we can. Let's see. Everyone, so really quickly, um, welcome to the roundtable. But first, I'm going to ask you guys to remain on mute unless you're called on to introduce yourselves before you ask your first question. Please, no follow up questions. And to get started, um, Susie, let's give you the first question. So just go ahead and introduce yourself in Outlet and you can get started. Hi, guys. I'm Susie from Happy Miss Moments. I just have to say, you guys are so brave. That was a scary movie. <laughs> and intense scenes. And I just wanted to know, how did you prepare prepare yourself for, especially that shredder scene? It's pretty intense. Um, I don't, I feel like I didn't prepare myself as much. I feel like um, being with Winslow and kind of just laughing at all the goo that was on us and all the, how crazy the set looked was really kind of um, evened out the creepiness of the shredder. Um, but yeah, what about you, Winslow? <laughs> Um, I really love that scene. It was just so fun. Um, I love horror and scary movies and stuff like that. Um, uh, so yeah, it was really a lot of fun for me. Um, I, I did read the book, so I was kind of prepared for that. Um, but it was, it was awesome. Um, and I don't know, it wasn't, obviously there wasn't a real shredder there. <laughs> if there was a real shredder, I would be a little bit more scared. Um, <laughs> All right, uh, next we have Jenna. Hi, so this is a question um, both for you, Winslow, and for Lydia. So you have both filmed things that are on the scarier side and things that are more on the comic side. Do you have a preference as to which one that you do and why? Um, well, I think, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I really enjoy doing both. I love making people laugh, but I also love scaring people. Um, so I love to do... I love to do scary movies because I like to do like all those special effects and like when the light bulbs break and they like short it and all that kind of cool stuff. But I also love comedy because I get to make people laugh and I get to just be funny, um, which I enjoy to do. So, yeah. I think, yeah, same for me. I don't really have a preference. I love comedy because I'm always like, when I need something to watch, it's usually something that makes me just like die laughing. And so I think that's definitely something I love, but um, I think that that's what's great about my books. It's, it's kind of the best of both worlds. So there's points where it's like super funny and then kind of scary. And so, yeah, I think that's what's great, yeah. Thank you. Next, we've got Selena. Hi, good morning. I'm Selena with Sitting Pretty with Selena, and I absolutely love the movie. I felt like you all really brought the characters to life, and I kind of got lost in the story. You know, I was just following all the different um, changes with the set. So, um, with that, I'd like to know what was your uh, favorite scene? Do you all have a favorite scene? Um, I don't know, because it was, oh. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I don't know. It, because I don't know, I, I just, I, I really enjoyed shooting the whole movie. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. um, and shooting with Livia was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but I really enjoyed uh, working in the library. It was such a cool set. Um, and also, like, just, like, filming in the, um, in the night nursery with all the mm -hmm. It was just awesome getting to be messy and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, great. Thanks. Lydia, did you have a favorite scene? Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I think, um, uh, same with me. I love the night nursery scene just because it was such an amazing set. Um, mm -hmm. I think definitely the night scenes, like the ones in the woods and like with the unicorn, those were really fun. Um, so I think those are maybe, maybe my favorites. All right. Great. Thank you. Congratulations. It's great. Thank you so much. Thanks. Next, we've got Jennifer. 
Hi, my name is Jennifer. I'm with Real Mom of SFE. Um, this question is for you both. Um, you had mentioned that you both like scary uh, films. I believe you both did. Um, what is your favorite scary movie or horror movie? My favorite scary movie, I think my top three, because um, I just love scary movies. It's hard for me to pick one. So there's a movie that I saw while we were shooting Night Books, which is called I See You. Very scary, very good. Love that movie. Um, I love the movie. Um, second favorite would be uh, Sinister um, with Ethan Hawke. It's so good. I just loved it. It was just so scary. Um, with all the videotapes and everything. It's so scary. Oh my God. Um, and then uh, the third one, uh, It, of course. It's got to be on there um, from 2017. Uh, I watched that in theaters when I was eight, and I love that movie. Uh, so, yeah, those are kind of my top three. <laughs> um, for me, I am not a big fan of scary movies. Um, I get scared very easily, so I'm kind of, we're kind of, opposites in that um idea but I do love reading scary books so like I love Ray Bradbury and all of his um like October stories and let's all go constants those kinds of things yeah great thank you next we've got uh Tessa Hi guys, thanks for taking the time today. I'm Tessa with mamasgeeky.com and my daughters and I, we loved the movie, super scary. I'm huge into scary movies as well. Uh, but you guys are phenomenal. Now, when we talked to Kristen earlier, she said she didn't do a lot of her scenes with you guys. She did them acting against like tennis balls. So <laughs> did you guys act a lot of, of, with her or what was that like? Well, um, there was a lot of, there was a lot of scenes where we kind of like, you know, because we can only work a certain amount of hours. So they had, she kind of had to like work with other things. We did do a lot. Of, I did do a, a fair bit of scenes with her, like where, when I'm reading the stories and doing that. Um, there was a lot of that with her. Um, so, I, yeah, I would say that we did a fair amount. And it was great working with her. She's an awesome actress. It was great learning from her. Um, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, no, Kristen was great to work with. I didn't have too many scenes with her, um, but like Winslow said, yeah, we can only work for a certain amount of hours, so if we did have scenes with her, it'd be like towards the end of the day, and we and they do all of our coverage, or the scenes where we're like both in the shot, and then her coverage once we were gone, um, but yeah. Thank you. Great job, guys. Thank you. Next is Tanya. Hi. So it broke my heart a little bit when Alex in the movie was saying, you know, he wanted to fit in or when his dad was talking about him being normal. And I was wondering if um, either of you or both of you had any advice for kids who will watch the movie and are struggling to find what makes them special. Um, there you go. <laughs> Okay, um, so I think it's really hard because when you're a kid and you have all the different aspects of who other people think you're supposed to be or who you think you're supposed to be instead of who you actually are, it's really hard to know what is real. It's kind of all smoke and mirrors at all different angles. And so I think for the movie, it's really great to see how Yasmin is kind of really like cold hearted and not welcoming because of how she's lost her friends because of the witch um but also Alex is kind of kind of going through the same thing because he just lost his friends for being himself um so I think what's great is seeing that if you if you even if you don't know who you are no one knows who they are so I think that's something that's great to um acknowledge but even if you don't know who you are there's other people who don't as well and so if you can find the right people and find the right um, person or group of people who can help you realize that or who you can help realize that I think that's definitely good to have at such a young age yeah um yeah uh I think it's very important to kind of just you know be who you are and don't let other people mess with you because if they're messing or picking on you because you're 
just being yourself, then they're not a good friend. And you should just hang out with people who are going to accept you for who you are and are going to love you for who you are and then, you know, cherish them um, for that. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's really important that um, that you just, you know, you don't, you don't let other people bring you down. down, down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You are both very wise. Thank you. Next, we've got Megan. Hey there. So this question is for Lydia. You've become quite the Netflix star. So I'm wondering, have you worked on a favorite project yet? Um, like specifically with Netflix? Um, I think I do love Netflix. I love it so much. I'm so excited that it's coming out. Um, I'm actually, it's something that I'm working on right now. I'm in Vancouver. Um, it's Ivy and Bean for Netflix. It was like a series of kids books. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm playing the main older sister. I think I definitely love all the productions I've done with Netflix, but I think the one I'm most excited about right now is Netflix, just because of the time that we're in and that it's coming out. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we've got uh, Amanda. Hi. So this, you know, film, you all had some physical demands and had to be covered in goo and all kind of stuff. So I was just wondering if there's any fun bloopers either you wanted to share of doing those kind of scenes. <laughs> yeah, um, it was, boy, that was, it was crazy. Um, we had to be covered from head to toe in goo and that was um it was it was interesting it was fun but then it kind of after a while it kind of would harden up and it would get really itchy and it would be a, a little bit uncomfortable they spray us with this little water bottle kind of like for people who train their dog and spray them with a water bottle kind of that kind of thing to just keep it wet <laughs> it wet because it would dry up um because we would wear it for hours um, but yeah, it was really fun. They would have like, they had these giant buckets and then they had a big paintbrush and they would dip the paintbrush in the bucket and then they would just go, boom, boom. <laughs> paintbrush, and it would splatter all over us. Um, oh, something that was really fun though, was after, um, the scene where Yasmin and Alex are like thrown up <laughs> in the elevator. Um, we had to do that one in one take because if we didn't, we'd have to go all the way back and like clean off and then do it again. And so we did it in one take. And then afterwards, we went up to the director, Dave, and we had him in all of our goo and we got a goo on him. But his, yeah, his, his wife was actually on set. And so she took like a Polaroid of it and it was really cool. <laughs> Thank you. That sounds like a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Lynette. Hi, I'm Lynette with Fantastic Life. And although I'm normally very scared in movies, I did enjoy this one. I did jump a little bit too much. Um, but I'd love to know if there are any aspects of your characters that you guys can, uh, that you guys do relate to. Um, that's good for you. So I loved playing Alex because I kind of, um, I, I also enjoy horror uh, a lot and um, yeah, I kind of just loved being able to show that part of myself and um, play a character that loves that as well. So yeah, I had a lot of fun playing Alex. Um, for me, um, for Yasmin, this is one of the things I've done that isn't too close to my character. So all the projects that I've done are basically like me just with certain tweaks and differences. Um, so I think something that was great about filming was I was able to kind of be more challenged, I guess, to play someone who's truly different than me. I guess I, it's really cool to see kind of her cultural um, things because I'm Ethiopian as well. And so um, when she was talking about Dorawa and making it as like Natasha's final meal, it was really great to kind of have that part of myself in some sort of, um, some sort of role, yeah. Thank you. Next up is Kathy. 
Hi, you guys. We absolutely loved the movie. You were spectacular. Both of you were just yeah. amazing. So I wanted to know, and um, I'm sorry if this was asked already, did Kristen at any point, I know you guys weren't together in the same room, but at any point were you scared of anything that was happening? And was there anything on set that you absolutely loved that you're like, I need to take that home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you can go. Okay, okay, sure. Um, okay. Uh, I, I, there were some scenes that were definitely pretty scary with Kristen. She did a great job of being the witch. Um, and, but she's also, you know, she's great in person as well. Um, and also, uh, I loved, I loved all of the night books. And um, in the movie, Alex actually has this backpack that's like, he paints on his backpack and his backpack's like, really cool and basically I got to take that home because I was like can I have one of the backpacks Just have one. I was like can I have one of them because those were really awesome and then I eventually ended up getting it awesome um so yeah I uh, I love that yeah. um, Kristen the main thing that I was not necessarily scared of but it was kind of intimidating is that she wore these um as Natasha, she wore these like huge heels and they were, they were probably like this big. And so um, it was really, it was kind of intimidating like when there's someone who's insanely like much taller than you and you're like, oh, hi, <laughs> that's kind of intimidating. So I think that was one of the main um, scary aspects of it as well as what was actually happening in the scenes. But something that I actually do have is the little skull sprayer thing for one of them that sprays the magic um, because I got the one that it doesn't actually spray anything, sadly. I would have put something in it, but it, it was just really cool. And so I do have that. I have that home, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have Ashley. Hey guys, I'm Ashley from With Ashley and Co. Love the movie. You guys were great. Um, so with all that was going on on set, did you guys try to scare each other? Did you sneak up on each other? Maybe a jump scare? Let's hear the stories. I know you got some. You're like laughing. So yes. <laughs> Winslow can do this one. Yeah, um, I, I scared Lydia so many times. Oh my God. I loved, I love being the scary scary guy um and uh, yeah so I, I i scared her a couple times um pretty good um good. <laughs> good job at that um people have always said that i'm like really sneaky but i like sometimes i don't even mean to scare them but i'm just like behind them and they're like turn around i'm like oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah and i i've always loved just like being the scary person um so yeah I would try and scare him like in the same way just be super stealth and even if I did like catch him by surprise he wouldn't he wouldn't be scared because he's basically not to what normal people are scared of and so he would just like he would see it he would be like oh hi <laughs> and so I definitely tried but I did not succeed as much as he did okay well if there's a sequel you you got time to you know come yeah. up with some stuff to get him back. <laughs> but most of the time when I just get scared, I just laugh it off. I'm just like, well, that's funny. Um, but yeah. So we've got time for two more questions. So we're just going to go back and restart the list with Susie. And then after Susie, Jenna. So Susie, go ahead. So I think all my questions were answered. But you guys did an amazing job. Thank you so much. Jenna, do you have another question you'd like to ask? Oh, I do. I want to know about the cat. Talk to me a little bit about Lenora. Oh, well, there were two Lenores. There were um, Trixie and Cleo. So when they actually did use the cat and not um, CGI, Cleo was the one who would kind of just be sitting there, like sitting on the um, couch or just standing or something. And then Trixie was the one who would like jump up onto things and under things and that kind of thing. 
but um, Cleo was super cuddly and sweet and awesome and warm and Trixie was super playful and so like if you tried to pick her up she'd just like purr or hiss at you <laughs> and so um, unless she was super tired you could pick her up but they were just amazing and I miss them and it was really great to kind of have a friendship with them um, off screen when on screen Lenore would like basically just try and scratch your eyes out. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I have the same point of view, I would say, um, just filming with the cats was amazing. I think they trained them in like two weeks, which is awesome. Like, that's like really cool. Um, that's better than what I could do. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. Uh, so yeah. And I mean, these cats were just so adorable. Uh, I must say Cleo was my favorite. Um, don't tell. Trixie but <laughs> uh yeah um I I had such a great time filming with them they were so awesome and yeah I mean it was just so great yeah great. thank you thank you so much it's so nice to see all of you so we're actually all out of time for now but thank you all so much for coming please say your goodbyes and head out of the zoom room Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Bye.